So I've been watching the runway for trends, and one show that caught my eye was this one by Kenzo Takata. He uses a bunch of ribbon and lace to create patterns on shirts and pants. Pretty cool. I saw the Refinery29 did a version, but it wasn't until I was at Michael's and walking down the ribbon section that I really got inspired to make one. Beginner. So for this project, you'll need about five to seven different spools of ribbon. And as you stroll down the colorful aisle, try to think to yourself, what ribbon defines me as a person? What patterns and complexities of colors could possibly describe the way that I feel? Maybe a houndstooth? Yeah, I'm a houndstooth kind of guy. Once you get past the psychology of it all, you'll also need some fabric glue and a couple old t-shirts. Once you have all that, take a spool of ribbon and measure out on your shirt a piece that spans across like so. This one is roughly about 12 inches. Then, with that strip of ribbon, measure out and cut off several more strips from your carefully assorted spools. You'll need roughly 20 to 25 of these. Now with your fabric glue, apply a good amount to the back of each strip and begin adding them to your shirt. This is where you can really express your inner creativity and let your character-driven ribbon shine. Maybe some stripes here, some camo there, some yellow, some plaid. And to top it all off, I grabbed the zipper that I'm throwing right here on the top. Since I had a crap ton of ribbon left, I had this other all-over skull print shirt that I thought would look pretty cool with this technique. Turned out pretty rad. Now let your shirts dry for 48 hours and you're good to go. Kenzo style. These are totally washable, just flip the shirt inside out and wash on the gentle cycle. For more cool no-sew ideas, hit up this week's special no-sew DIY guide. Anything you would have done differently? Got ideas for future projects? Leave them in the comments below. Also be sure to click that big red button to subscribe and click on that video right there for the no-sew guide. We'll see you next time.